monkey. One of them probably right click here again. You can see in the middle lane, Dogfight is just going to be the one to come in and help out Cicada. And in fact, straight away, getting a fair bit of harassment with the body blocking as well. Miracle's in trouble. They're going to move in for this, and that's going to be where the first bird well, ends up happening. And indeed, in return, Liquid, can they get the Singulai? Still has the Who Stomp, only gets it onto the Sand King, though. And it looks like that won't be good enough to save him, and indeed it won't. But and he's always getting a lot in his lane. He had a really good Legion game we saw. But even the games where they're losing and struggling, I feel like Mind Control is always playing very well. Mid lane. To go on to Miracle there with the first crush and the Blade Fury follow up. Miracle falling though, the Fairy Fire comes out. Skada's going to look to chase. Has got those phase boots in a second. Miracle starting to salve up. Turns around, gets one hit, two. There's the control and he builds up the Jingu. Takes the kill. That. A bit of a wrap around here. So he pins from in from both sides. Do they have the control and damage? That's the question. Injulize still has that who stomp. Dogfights is coming across as well to help out. And with that... Is going to be fine and a good TP in here from Paparazzi looking to get involved. We'll look towards the easier kill first. Surrounding Kuroki, they'll take the CM. They get Matumba as well. They've got another crush if dogfights can close the gap. Still a good amount of time with the sprint. And in fact, Matumba Man misses the slow onto the Slardar. GH is there to try and help out, but Paparazzi dupes out the stun. Matumba Man will turn though, gets the kill. Paparazzi though, again, he should be able to clean up and he does. A double kill for the Weaver. We're in, we're in, we're back and we're good. Mid lane, Miracle is potentially not good oh, here. Oh wow, look at that damage though. That is a lot of, that's a lot of days. Oh, he's dead, one more touch. Oh no, he doesn't get it off. Oh yes, he does. Oh my goodness. They both end up going down, but suddenly here comes GH and Mind Control and Matuma Man with the, the absolute total annihilation. And easy easy. Vitality, I don't think they were expecting that. I think they, well they, yeah, they probably just come back after that pause. And yeah, Liquid yeah. were more prepared than IG Vitality were. To maybe, yeah, he's calling him, he's pinging behind the trees. To be in, they can get the jump on the silencer. Uh, can. Let's Mac is without a blink. And there we are, straight up with the ultimate and the stun, holding super within the Wukong's command. Dogfights comes in, takes a fair bit of damage now with GH blinking forward, finds the Burrow Strike. They've found a second Liquid. Takata will come in with the Omni Slash, but it will be shared and mind control. Gets the RP onto two. GH comes in with the epicenter as well. Sakata will be fine with the Blade Fury to duke out the damage. They've picked up a third as in July to fall as well. And Liquid, they aren't done quite yet. GH once again blinking into position with a follow through Burrow Strike. Sakata will get taken out as well as Liquid. Very, very easily. What can they do? In July's got the blink. He's going to have to go for it blind, he's going to have to go for it quick, and he's not. It's already gone. They've got the Aegis. He will still jump in after Roshan's been taken down and Liquid. They don't only get Roshan and Aegis. They get a kill as well for Matumba. And they may not be done yet. Miracle already with the chase down. Here's the two-man stun. The ults out, the slow onto dog fights. They pick a second. I just trying to chomp trees. On I was going, where's Miracle? There he is. He's here. He's this tree He's on the tree. tree. <laughs> I, was, I was actually looking. Oh, okay, there he is. He's going to go straight up for the ult. They're ready to fight it. GH in with the power strike. Onto dogfight. Silence has already been taken out. And they're also going to lose in July. Matuma Man surviving by the skin of his teeth. I guess he changed his mind after the cash inputs on the top lane. Matuma Man. Kind of getting caught out here. The global as well. GH has tried to come in to help him out, but a little bit of trouble here. They'll lose the Aegis. GH getting surrounded, Mind Control doesn't have that RP of course because he used it for that top fight. Miracle does have the Wukong's command coming in, the skew onto two, they've cleaned up to make that three. Again, Liquid coming out on top in these team fights. His damage up was just insane. Yeah, I mean with the Desolator, it is absolutely ridiculous. Desolator in power, getting the Wukong's command out on the playing field. There's just so little vitality you can do. I mean, people on the internet will say walk out of it. Can't walk out of it if you're dead. Yeah, if you get found the strike, you die. It's just two seconds. You're you're gone. He did 2.5k damage that fight, and all of it was done during like the duration of his boundless strike. So. Or maybe they just thought it might be good. Let's test it, and it proves that yeah, it's pretty damn good with empower. Also, the, the troll attack speed buff. Again, yes. Battle trance empower uh, yeah. monkey king. They they will indeed do that. IGB. Realizing that there's no way back into the start, getting ahead in farm, making the superior rotations. It will be the Ursa. Okay. Could get the bat. See him. Yeah, this is the kill. In July, much easier target than the potential joke they could have walked into. We have it. Liquid with the first blood. Perhaps he turning back up. Does have some backup as well in the form of Super. Mike Shaw's going to move in, look for the duel. Matuma Man's there as well as the Sunstrike to bring him down, and they'll get it. Successful duel and Super, of course, has revealed his position. Liquid, they are searching for him. Super has actually managed to juke them. 
GH and mind control, very deep, super. Gonna be a very, very easy duel if they wanna go for it. They actually don't. Mind control's gonna hold on to the ultimate. Will be lassoed. And in fact, with dogfights coming around as well, mind control's out and down. With the four of them in the mid lane, they have got the setup. TPs will be coming in. Can they save him? They can't. Miracle's already taken down. You do for mind control. Look to try and save GH here with the heal, but it's not gonna be enough. And Paparazzi level six and he hasn't been able to use that at all he's getting some deep wards down but he can't just get towards that he needs to do more okay. great great Real play from miracle again they kind of struggle to find those pickoffs themselves miracle has headed down bottom will look to make a plan to paparazzi i mean look at the damage this invoker does my goodness <laughs> who needs sunstreak what the heck and they get punished for that aggression try and find dog fights dog fights into the tree line but gh hunts him down mind control to pick up the dual damage as well. Miracle gets himself involved. Make sure that he... So it's a lot easier to use an item like Shadow Blade to find pickoffs as well. Up top. Talking about pickoffs. IGV moving to find another. Matuma Man will jump in. He really wants that Crystal Maiden. And he will get it. GH comes in with a Burrow Strike. Trying to help Matuma Man escape. Still in July dogfights. And the Naga in the neighborhood. The jewels there from Mind Control though. And they find... The big kill, taking out Sakata. Paparazzi shadow blading up. We'll look towards Matuma with a blade fear as well. He should get at least the Ursa no Matuma back anyway on six HP. Whoa. Finally falls. They'll get the kill, but GH still playing around with dog fights. You've got mind control and lyrical. Dyer's middle miracle chasing down attack. Paparazzi. Healing war gone. Kane room picked up. Paparazzi no way. Wait, I say no way. He's got a shadow blade. They don't have detection. Okay, sentry now. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. Kuroki turns up at the time of need. Let's turn it around. Does he want to jump? He does. Straight in onto Paparazzi with Matuma Man's backup as well as the Sunstrike. They can take him down before... Do you want to fight? Set up onto Matumba. The man turns. Hasn't got that enrage for another 15 seconds. In a lot of trouble. Back up there for Kuroki. Can they get him out? It doesn't look like they can. Or maybe with the second purge from Mind Control. Matuma Man TPs out and he'll make it back to base. Kuroki will pay with his life though. And Sakata seeing if he can chase down for more. He needs to get in range of Mind Control with this song and he will. Nice gap closer there from Sakata, But the Mind Control blink just in time. They'll check the tree line, but they're off the mark. And Mind Control, he's going to be fine. And backup's turned up. GH is there, along with Miracle. A quick deafening blast to the face to bring down the Naga Siren. And they're not done yet, Liquid. In July, in the tree lines. But Super with the ultimate. Dogfights control as well. Miracle, he's falling low. And Super with the freezing field. The damage is enough. They brought the Invoker down. GH is out as well. And at the end of the day, is the turnaround on the turnaround. What Vitality can do in terms of high ground defense if Liquid do come in hard with these pushes. Cool, ready to go straight up the high ground. Fight's holding him back. This pop drops. Sports a glyph. And Mind Control's not even worried about having to get off the tower during the glyph. Yeah, not at all. With that BKB in the heel and the back of a Kuroki that we have immediately coming in with the perfect timing, the false promise. There's the combo from Miracle. Trying to force IGV back, but Paparazzi with the Blade Fury moves forward. They've got the Burst Strike and the Jewel onto Skata. The Naga Siren's out. 60 seconds. Buys back immediately. They've still got ages. They can still lurk around if they want. They've used False Promise. Kuro needs to be careful. So my man tries to turn for the net and the Frostbite. Holding him back here. Falling down low. The heels from Kuroki. Once again, protecting that Aegis for as long as, long as they can. <laughs> Sleep is there. Blade free as well to make sure the Matuma Man can't blink his way out of this one. And he'll almost certainly fall down the once. But the damage here from Miracle as the Tornado flies in. Will dispatch of the Nyx Assassin. Surely no, the Healing Ward keeping him just alive with those one charges. He'll actually get his way out of there. In July's not going to be as lucky as the Bear jumps in. Rips into part with the Claws. But Liquid is starting to fall low once again with this Freezing Field Super. Killing Matumba Man nearly as he just walks it off. Has the Enrage. GH back in with a Burrow Strike to take Sakata down a second time this team fight. It is a dieback on the Naga Siren. Miracle no Naga in. for 80 seconds. He did indeed. Took an Omni Slash to the face and he's out and down for 90. Miracle throwing his life away to the Blade of Paparazzi. It's a lot of time. Dogfights might be able to snipe a Courier. He's put down... This ward I feel like you're Radiant's putting down just to snipe Couriers. Whole point of that ward. Dyer's courier Get has it. Been killed. It was just a tome on it though. Nothing massive. Miracle was sending it there to buy the Octarine Call, but he can walk to the shop if he wants. And hey, guess what? You don't need to walk to the shop. You're getting racked. You're winning the game. Who needs Octarine Call? Not Miracle at the time being. And Naga is 
not even in position to defend. Five seconds before she has a TD. Fires hits the stun onto one, but quick reactions there. They jump in with the jewel. And they just got the damage to bring him down in it. They do indeed. He's out and down. The lasso bringing him to my man away from his team. GH trying to run in with the epicenter. Gets the follow through power strike after Blade Fury wears off, and that's jugged down as well. Two out on the side of IGV. Triple kill for Miracles as they bring out the CM. My back will be there from him. The setup with the sleep, but what do they really have with two? Who else is up for as well? It's Sakala. Okay, Sakala's headed back now. And in fact, the opening here, Lasso bringing my Control away, does have the Aegis. They're popping once. They pop him again though. GH comes across, cancel the freezing field there with a the burrow strike. Mind control instantly with a blink out. But to my man, already working his way through the racks, along with Miracle and the rest of the gang as Liquid will claim the Megas. Miracle BK beat up, finds the final racks. Miracle cancels the Jugs TP. He, he went back to defend oh Tornado, the Jugs TP, and then right in front of Jugs' face, TP to the top lane. So. It was a bit of like a, a BM play in some ways. I mean, it was it was the right play. Cancel his TP. You don't care about losing a Rex. You've got Megas. And this Jug is stuck here. He's fueled up now. No TP to work with. It'd be pretty pesky to continue pushing, but Kuro's back with Greaves. He'll heal everyone back up. There you go. Jump right. Immediately and on to Injulai. Injulai's out, does not have buyback available. And they'll look to set up for more with the Yules. Onto Super, tries to slide his way away, just to have the Glimmer Cape, isn't going to make it, but they do have this Omni Slash. Onto the Legion Commander, but the last bounce isn't going to go the way of Mind Control. Paparazzi can't finish off the Legion, the refresh is there from Miracles, he looks to style on the Jug Double with the BKB. second <laughs> Deafening Blast. And indeed, GG is called at the end of the day, it's all too much for IGD. 36 for 17, Liquid will take the series 2-0.